Hi, I'm John Molesky, host of Dialogue. We're on the set of Dialogue, where I just completed a discussion on the future of higher education with guests Jeff Abernathy and Rich Morrill. And uh, we're going to give you a little preview of what we've been talking about. Gentlemen, let me ask you this. We're in Washington, D.C., of course, the, the legislative capital of the country. And uh, what would be the best thing that those folks on Capitol Hill could do for higher education now? Is there a specific piece of legislation that you would advocate for, or is there something general you could identify that you think would be most helpful? Well, I think uh, access to college and university education is critical for our nation uh, in, in so many ways. And uh, expanding uh, those opportunities for students is probably the most critical thing. The is that a financial government. support? Uh, uh, it's certainly uh, maintaining and expanding the Pell Grant, I think, yeah. is, is something that we need to see. And then the government, of course, has done that in the, in the last year. Rich, what would you like Keeping to see? Keeping those happen? doors of opportunity open. I think that there sometimes is a misconception that uh, somehow we expect that every student will have to have a four-year degree. Every student needs an opportunity to go as far as their talents and their interests and commitment will take them. And without Pell Grants as the foundation of the system, a lot of students uh, will not have the opportunity to contribute back to society as they might. Mm -hmm. we, when we talk about the future of anything, it's predictions are a slippery slope. It's a difficult thing. But knowing what you know, what, what can you, Jeff, what can you predict with confidence today, a change that we can anticipate in the world of how higher education does business? Uh, we have acted in our colleges and universities as silos to some degree, and that is ending in this, uh, this phase, in this era. I think we'll see uh, colleges and universities much more deeply engaged, uh, thinking in common about how our curricula work, uh, thinking as, as well about the world uh, beyond uh, the university, beyond the uh, campus, uh, reaching out internationally to bring students uh, in even greater numbers. Rich, what do you see in your crystal ball? I think that uh, the effort to really focus on the student and what the student is learning will develop an even sharper profile in the years ahead because that's our primary task. We have new tools and new ways in which to understand what students are learning and to improve as a result of what we've learned. Rich Morrill, Jeff Abernathy, thank you. If you'd like to hear more from our guests on this important topic, uh, visit us on the web at wilsoncenter.org. Look on the upper right-hand side of the screen. You'll see a tab for Dialogue. If you click there, you can find the complete 30-minute interview. Thanks.